Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com and I'm here with the composer of Welcome to Wrexham, a documentary series all about Wrexham FC, which you can find now on Hulu in the US and on at Disney Plus around the world. And so thank you so much for taking your time out today. Could you give us a bit of an introduction to yourself and maybe what um, people might know you from? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, yeah, my name is Josue Greco. I'm a composer, um, composer, sound designer, uh, synth enthusiast, uh, and uh, instrument enthusiast as well. I um, I'm the composer for Welcome to Wrexham. Uh, I've been working in um, film and TV for the last seven ish years, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, so, how did you get involved in working on Welcome to Wrexham? Um, I actually um, I had done a couple of documentaries uh, documentaries before, and uh, the guys uh, in the production company. Uh, liked my work previously, so I got contacted. I actually, it's funny. I got um, got contacted about a year before the start shooting, which was great because it gave me the chance to get a little bit familiar with the Welsh traditional music, with what they wanted to do, and I also had the opportunity to make some uh, purchase the purchases to the extent of these two instruments that you can see here which is a buzuki and a mandolin and some other traditional Welsh instruments that I started playing and practicing on so that I could uh, bring the score to life. It's interesting you say like, like bringing in um, like Welsh instruments and stuff. And where did the actual inspiration for like the sound of the series come from? Yeah, you know, well, it's a football series. So I, I, I wanted to... Um, I, I, I wanted to make the score somewhat resembling of the stadium feel sound and so um it it, it was pretty much 50 50 between uh traditional uh welsh slash irish music and um big stadium anthemic motifs um so the score it's basically like a balancing act between these two worlds in a way um, so that was the main inspiration for it. That's cool. And um, did you get a chance to either sort of um, watch any of the Rex and games? Did you watch it on like TV or did he, he maybe even oh, get yeah. go see it? <laughs> uh, I didn't make it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to go yet, uh, but uh, I might in the future. Uh, that's still in the cards. But yeah, I try to stay pretty much on top of, uh, of the, you know, I try to watch the live streams. Sometimes I don't make it because of the time difference. I live yeah. in LA, uh, but yeah, I, and it, it, it's quite exciting what it's been going on recently. Actually, yeah. um, the team is moving up, and so I'm super, super excited about that. Yeah, I must admit they they were recently playing uh, my local football team, and I don't tend to watch football. But I was like, well, I could. I was like, I'm going just because I like the TV series. <laughs> it was just like so. So it's definitely had that impact. I think it's definitely got a lot more people interested in Wrexham. Um, so I think that that series has definitely done a great job in doing that. Um, so I'm going to ask you also, what was your biggest challenge working on creating the soundtrack to the to the series? Um, yeah, you know, I think a lot of that stuff for me. A lot of the challenges were in the initial uh, scoring process when I didn't have any picture, I didn't have any footage to work with. So it, there was a lot of guessing. There was a lot of guessing. There was a lot of like, is this actually going to work? So I started writing a bunch of uh, very long suites, you might call them, like long pieces, like four, five, six minutes. And um, some of that stuff, I was really take, I was really going for like the biggest swing possible. Um, there are tracks with like seven, eight mandolins playing at the same time. There's tracks where they're fully electronic tracks. Uh, they didn't quite make it into the show, and maybe it's maybe maybe that's good. Uh, there also there's also a bunch of stadium sounding like almost like drumline cues that also didn't quite didn't quite work with the picture at the end so there was a lot of guessing uh ultimately that was quite challenging but luckily i had enough time to really just go for it and, and experiment as much as i could so i'm super grateful for having had that time that's cool and um, what was kind of like your biggest highlight um from actually working on this project um musically 
um, there's a couple of, there's a lot of things that I'm actually very, very proud um, that you can hear in the soundtrack. I managed to sneak a bunch of, I'm a, I'm a saxophone player, um, first and foremost. My, that was my first instrument, first love, and I managed to, it actually made it into the score, uh, and it has quite a, it's quite in the forefront. So that's definitely something that I'm proud of. Um, and also, I, I had the opportunity to make something that it's very, that it varies in style. And it, there's quite a lot of range in the sonic palette that we are, that we, that we ended up building for Rexham. Um, we go from traditionally sounding music to uh, elect some electronic cues and, and saxophone and soaring melodies and there's there's a string there's a lot of string section pieces uh, and drums uh, bl blasting through the stadium so definitely the range of the of the project is something that I'm very 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 proud of. That's cool. And you mentioned a um your personal highlights. Was there uh, something else that you enjoyed uh, about making the series? Um yeah I mean. Of course, I mean th this series is it's it's such a hit, and, and and I think the fan base, the there was quite an overwhelming um, positive uh, feedback that I got from uh, from the audience, uh, from the fans of the show, and a lot of them reached out personally to me via social media, and they're like, I really like this piece when this thing happens. And it's like I looked you up. I'm not. I'm not very, very active on social media. So the idea that somebody had to go went to the to the extent of like googling it, the thing and copy pasting the name because my name is quite hard to spell. So and like looking me up and writing the nice message, it's definitely like a, something that you know. It, it, it's it's really heartwarming and 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 it's also motivating because uh, positive feedback helps with making better art and so forth yeah yeah i mean i i love the album i've been listening to it for um the last week because like, i tend to like listening to uh soundtracks to scores while i'm doing video editing and writing so i'll quite often put um soundtracks on just to kind of focus so i've been listening to, uh, to your album and it's just like ew, there's a few obviously the, the bigger ones obviously like the starting track and stuff but, but you have such such a broad array of different music and stuff so i i i love listening just to um uh, to mix the scores and stuff the series and stuff um so i definitely appreciate um everything that goes into these ones um but I also wanted to ask you, um, having gone through a little bit of your resume, I did notice there was um, you worked on a DC series, uh, Superman and Lois. Yes. And I've and obviously, obviously, with us being about Disney Plus, I've got to ask you: Would you like to try your hand at maybe working on a, on the other company, Marvel? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. I was just like, yeah, I was like looking for it, like, oh, it's like I always like kind of going through and like seeing like like what people have worked on and stuff. So it is great. Um, so as I kind of um, kind of interesting, so like, how did you actually get into composing music overall for, um, music for TV and series? You know, like I've always kind of done this. I, I started playing when I was eight. Um, I my early memories are just playing music. Started with saxophone, then bridged it into piano, then ended up going to Berkeley, uh, Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Got a, got a scholarship to go there, and I was just going to do like a, a performance major, but I was very, very interested in technology. So I feel like I, I, I ended up pursuing the pr music production program that is actually incredibly, really, really well done instead of the film scoring because I never thought I was going to end up writing for film. What I wanted to do, I wanted to be in music. I wanted to work professionally in music in some shape or form. Whether And I also really, really love technology, the technology aspect of it. So ultimately, I moved to LA after graduation as an international student. I, I, I am originally from, I'm originally from Europe as well. Um, grew up in Italy and as an international student, you only get one year of um, uh, uh, apprenticeship or whatever you want to call it after you, after you graduate and then your visa expires and you got to go home. So I, en I ended up spending that one year in LA and 
the opportunities here in LA are there there is a lot of things that you can do, but one of the things that I was more interested in at that point was to actually write music for media, whether it was for TV or film. I wasn't quite sure what was, what, what was gonna happen. And so uh, I ended up I started working with composers, with other composers around one of one of them, my dear friend Dan Romer. Uh, and we then slowly but surely we ended up I ended up doing additional writing and then eventually bridging into doing my own projects uh so I so yeah I want to say that it wasn't quite planned but at the same time there was a lot of work that went into it and a lot of preparation that went into it and I think the you know having learned classical music first and then technology here in America is just something that um had had me prepared for scoring uh, films and features and and TV. So so ultimately, yeah, it, it's something that ten years ago I would never have thought I would have end up doing as a job, but now I love it. Yeah, it's it's going to be uh, amazing, kind of doing it. So now I'm going to ask you: um, Are you working on the second season? Because they've just um, recently, I think they've just like wrapped up um, after the big win. Um... Yes, so season two. It's happening, and we're doing it. Excellent. Uh, uh, it's really cool, because this is a show that, um, again, I, I'm not a big football fan, but I ended up watching all 18 episodes. I loved it, and it kind of pulled me into, which I was not expecting from this show, but, again, it had something special to it, and I think that's what's really captured people's audience and sort of captured the, the attention of everyone. So I think it's, you know, and I think it's a combination of everything that comes together with this this series. So f my final question I asked everybody is, um, and I'm going to discount Welcome to Wrexham on this one, but what has been your favorite um, Disney Plus slash Hulu original so far? Ah, man, Disney Plus slash Hulu. Let's see. Ah, there is so many. There's so many that came out. Let's see. Oh man! Suggest? Can you suggest uh, some names? Because I, I keep mixing things up. Okay, so we're gonna start. Off, we're gonna start off with this. We got Star Wars ideas. So we got things like Star Wars: The Mandalorian. We got oh, um, Andor. Well, you got Marvel. You could have um, One Division. Or... <laughs> I do like The Mandalorian. I like The Mandalorian a lot. However, I am stuck on season one. I fell off. Uh, I fell off uh, season one, and I'm planning on on going back into it. Andor, it's definitely on the list, and. And the beautiful score. Actually, I heard the music for Andor already because um, the soundtrack is out, and I was like, I gotta watch this. And never quite, find, I haven't found the time to do to do so. But Andor is next for sure. Yeah, there, there is there is so many uh, so many great shows and stuff. But again, thank you so much for taking your time out to speak to us today. Thank about, you, Roger. Um, Welcome, Wrexham. You can find the soundtrack right now on digital platforms, including Spotify, and you can watch Welcome, Wrexham right now on Hulu in the US and on Disney Plus around the world. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.